And thanks for making time to be here. Appreciate it. First of all, Phil, thanks for coming out. I uh, really appreciate your office and all they do. There's not a week goes by, but our office, the DA's office, doesn't interact with Phil's office. He's got a great staff that helps us out with the pellet issues, legal research issues. It's a great staff, uh, and he's, he's really doing a great job. So thanks for coming out. Um, one of the issues continuing, maybe backing up what Sheriff Mobley had said, it was probably surprising to a lot of folks to hear that he's running an asylum in his jail. Let me tell you why that is. People who are arrested who have a criminal case and who also are perhaps not competent to proceed, we don't prosecute people who are not pro competent to, to proceed to trial. So what happens is they must have an evaluation done to see whether they're competent to proceed to trial. This evaluation takes anywhere from three to six months to happen. That's just the evaluation that person sits in jail. After that evaluation happens, the person must then be restored to competency if they're found incompetent to proceed. If they must do that inpatient, there's such an intense backlog at the Colorado Mental Health Institutes and Pueblo and other facilities, the backlog is so intense that those people will sit for another 12 to 18 months. If I can just give you the backstory, the reason yeah. is, like law enforcement, the mental health, behavioral health capacity on the staffing side is in dire straits. So there is literally a wing or more in our state mental health hospital that is not being used because they don't have the staff. So we can't get those folks restored to competency so that their cases can then be adjudicated. Um, so this is, that's, that's the reason why. And that's, that's a big problem in our communities. And we don't see a, you know, the, the drug problem, I think, contributes a lot to what we're seeing. So um, I don't know if there are solutions, but I would tell you that our district court has started a specialty court to deal with the many people who are incompetent to proceed and who are in need of services to see if we can find those services within the community. So we've started a competency court, a specialty court, like a drug court, if you've heard of that, or a veterans court. We're doing that just for a competency court to see if we can <coughs> work that out. Um, and a lot of those models are coming from the state and other larger jurisdictions. So I think we're the only small jurisdiction that's doing that. I had not heard about that. That's great. Virginia's yeah. going to hear more about that. We'll yeah. can make sure to connect with yeah. Virginia. So, Anyway, thanks for coming down. No, real and, pleasure. Thank you. It's a, it's a big issue in our community. I appreciate you putting the light on it. Thank you. Thank you.